Good evening. We want to welcome you to the midweek service of the Piney Grove Chapel Baptist Church. I'm not Timmy Blair, but he's my best friend, and he asked me to uh, do this service tonight or to come speak, and it's my first time. But for the last 11 months, what a joy it has been to be serving in this church and also with Pastor Timmy and his family and our church family. Tonight, I want to be looking at a passage of scripture from the book of Philippians, chapter 2. It's going to be in verses 19 through 24. And that is a significant number for in my life because my mother and dad got married in 1924. So if you have a Bible, turn to the book of Philippians and I'll be reading and sharing from this passage of scripture. Paul says in writing to Timothy, but I trust, or in writing to the church at Philippi rather, I trust in the Lord Jesus Christ to send Timothy to you shortly that I also may be encouraged when I know your state. For I have no one like-minded who will sincerely care for your state. For all seek their own, not the things which are of Christ Jesus, but you know his proven character, that is Timothy, that as a son with the, his father, he served with me in the gospel. Therefore, I hope to send him at once as soon as I see how it goes with me. But I trust in the Lord that I may, uh, my, myself shall also come shortly. Now, it's very obvious Paul is writing to one of the churches that he helped establish and assisting him was this young man by the name of Timothy. Now, what I want to talk about in these next few minutes is a five-star disciple of Jesus, a five-star. Now, in athletics, whether it's baseball, football, basketball, a five-star player is the best there is. Then there's the four-star, the three-star, the two-star, the one-star. I played baseball, basketball, and football in high school, and I'm not even sure I was a one-star, but the difference between the University of, uh, of North Carolina and Duke and Campbell is the five-star players versus the three-star players. And so I want us to look at a five-star disciple of Jesus Christ. Now, in baseball, I learned many years ago that the five-star player can do five things. Number one, he can run, he can hit, he can throw, he can field, and he can hit with power. In my knowledge of baseball in my younger days, there were two particular players that could do all five. One was Mickey Mantle with the Yankees, and the other was uh, Willie Mays with the Giants. But you know, when I look at the Christian life, it is very important that we be all we can be for Jesus. Now, Paul was that kind of man. After the Lord called me into the ministry, there's, there are no books in the New Testament that I've read more seriously and sincerely and personally than 1 Timothy, 2 Timothy, and the book of Titus. And so here we see Paul writing to the church at Philippi that he and Timothy and others helped organize, and he mentions Timothy. Now, I'm going to give you five things that I believe ought to characterize you and me and everyone who wants to be all out for Jesus Christ. First of all, we see that Timothy was active with the saints. Now, in Paul's first missionary journey, he went into Antioch, and he went to uh, Iconium, and he went to Derby, and he went to Lystra, and there in Lystra, he and Barnabas, who was his companion in ministry, and John Mark, who later left, or he left even maybe before he got that far, but a crippled man was healed under the ministry of Paul the Apostle. The people thought that uh, the gods had come down, Paul and Barnabas, and they started trying to make gods out of these men, and Paul stopped them. And then Jews came from Antioch and other cities where he had been preaching, and they stoned him and left him for dead, dragged him outside of the city. But I want you to know that a five-star Christian, first of all, the star, you get a star when you associate with God's people. The Bible says that that association ought to be in the church. 
Bible says, let us not forsake the assembling of ourselves together, as it is in the matter of some. And so there are those people who claim to be Christian, who love the Lord, and maybe they are Christians, maybe they are saved, but it's very, very important that Christians be involved with other Christians. The Bible says together we are the body of Christ. Together we can do much more than we can alone. And so when Paul was on his second missionary journey in Lystra, he met Timothy, and there he wanted to take him with him, and he went with him in the rest of that missionary journey. So the first star I'm going to give you, if you're going to be a five-star Christian, are you active with the saints of God? The second thing that I think is important in being a five-star Christian is affirm the Scriptures. Now, the Bible says, as Paul wrote to Timothy, he talks about the inspiration of the Scriptures. All Scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for correction, instruction, doctrine, reproof, and so forth. In other words, the Word of God will tell you as a Christian, leader or follower, what is right, what is not right, how you can get right, and praise God, how you can stay right. Timothy was an all-star Christian in the sense that he not only was active with the saints, but secondly, he affirmed the Scriptures. Now, there's a third thing I see in Timothy's, Timothy's life, and that is that he asked and prays simply to God for his direction, for his protection, for his uh, provision, and everything else that God needs to give us and all that we want. And so here he asks, he prays, he prays without ceasing, and Paul prays for Timothy, and they are praying for the church at Philippi. And so if you're going to be a, a three-star Christian, you need to affirm the scriptures, you need to be active with the saints, and you need to ask God for any need you have or any situation you have in. For you see, we are to pray in the morning, we're to pray in the evening, we're to pray in the noontime, we're to pray without ceasing. Now, there's a fourth thing in this all-star Christian that Timothy was. He also was involved in advising others to come to Jesus. Now, that's one thing I look for when, and as far as a five-star Christian, an all-star Christian. Are you a witness for Christ? Do you look around you, the place you live, and you see people with so much to give, and yet they're not in church, they're not witnessing, they're not reading their Bible, they're not serving, they're not surrendered, they're not yielding? Well, you see, an all-star Christian is going to be one who's seeking the lost. Jesus said after there in Luke chapter 19, verse 10, The Son of Man has come to seek and to save that which is lost. My friend, if you're going to follow Jesus, if I'm going to follow Jesus, we need to not only be seeking the lost, but helping them to know how to be saved and how to come to Christ. Now, there's a fifth thing that I think is very important in the life of an all-star Christian. Not only is active with the saints, he affirms the scriptures. He asks simply in prayer what he needs and the needs of others. He advises those who are not saved to come to Christ and come to salvation. But lastly, the all-star Christian is alive in the spirit. Jesus promised the disciples when he left that he would not leave them as orphan children. He would send the Holy Spirit to be with them at all times in all occasions to guide, provide, lead, and, and could give them instruction and guidance and everything they do. So therefore, let me say to you this evening in this uh, time of sharing from the Word of God, Timothy was that kind of man. He's not in the category of a Paul or maybe a, a John or someone like that. But, uh, you know, you can be an all-star Christian in all these aspects. And don't you don't have to preach like Peter. You don't have to pray like Paul. But you can be true like Timothy, who was a saint and who was a believer in Christ and one of Paul's best friends. Paul says, I have no man in my ministry. There were those who deserted him. There were those who fought against him. There were those who walked away from him. But when he writes to the church at Philippi, he commends Timothy as one of those disciples and followers and believers that is true and faithful. And we thank God for men like Timothy. Let's pray together. Father, I pray that those listening this evening will look at their lives and measure their lives not only by men like Timothy and Barnabas and Paul and Silas and Luke and John and Mark and others, 
But Lord, that we would compare our lives with the Lord Jesus, knowing that, as Paul said, I'm crucified with Christ, but nevertheless I live, but yet not I. But it's Christ who lives in me. And Lord, I pray that Christ will live in us individually, personally, so that in our church, in our community, in our school, in our college, in our business, in our sports and activities, that we can let the light of Christ shine through us in such a way that people can see a difference as we seek to bring a lost world the knowledge of Christ, the Lord and Savior, in whose name we pray. Well, we've had a time for prayer. We've had a time for looking at God's Word. In just a moment, we'll praise God, which is a vital part of an all-star church. Thank you. 